Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hello guys, how you guys doing? Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good night, wherever you are, all over the world. My name is Victor Anyao and they call me the social media oracle. Today I'm talking about what I always talk about, social media. Okay, there's this, you guys know this reels, right? Reels everywhere, everybody's doing reels, 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 all over, all over reels. Right, so I just want to talk about reels. I I did a little analysis for uh, some of the brands that we manage and some things that we advise them to do when creating videos and all those reels, right? Some of the things that we're also implementing for some of those brands. Okay, so I felt okay. Well, we've done this for them. Let me share it with you. Okay, now how do you create reels that are engaging and reels that convert? Right, number one. Understand that Instagram is currently focusing on pushing reels, right? Instagram wants to play big in the video space. Reels, you know, it's a 15 second, 30 second video, right? Because they are also competing with TikTok, right? You know, the TikTok video thing, right? Good. So, so reels is 15, 30 seconds. Okay, so 15 seconds, you can also make it 30 seconds, all right? So because of that, because they want to push, because they are competing in that space. It means that if you do a reel, Instagram will automatically give you that push. All right, so you will get that instant algorithm push. You will appear in algorithms, you will appear in people's pages. You would, the algorithm will just be happy with you and be, you know, be ready to push you. As long as your reel is entertaining, it's educative, it's connecting with the audience, okay and okay another thing is you know when you watch those reels you see that down you know that down place at the end of watching the reels you see click to watch more all right so you watch more reels so people can actually sit and watch more and more and more of your videos of your reels all right they'll still see some other people's own but you know you're able to watch more and more of that you can you understand how that actually works so it, it has its own platform, all right? So you can decide not to watch videos. You can just decide to focus on reels. You can avoid regular posts and just focus on reels all through. Do you understand? So there's this current push for reels. So how do we create reels that connect? How do we create reels that work? How do we create reels that in the Instagram algorithm will love? How do we create reels that our audience will love? That's what I'm talking about today. And you will see me talk about it in a minute. Remember to call your friends. Remember to click subscribe, like, comment, share this video. All right. And I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys. Thank you for liking subscribing sharing commenting inviting your friends see we can only grow when you help us grow all right we share content you like the content like it comment it helps us it helps our visibility it helps more people to see it and it encourages us to do more do you understand so please do that on this video all right thank you very much so step one your videos have to be very entertaining you see all those guys that always dance and do all those doom, 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 all those kind of things that they do. Hmm? It works. I'm telling you, it works. All right. So look for ways to create entertaining videos. All you people that dance, keep dancing. Dancing is good. All right. You will lose weight. You will be fit. Your heart will be happy. And Instagram algorithm will be happy too. Your audience will be happy too. All right dance dance is good so be entertaining you know fun you know make your videos interesting to what make it fun make it uh make it grab attention and make it make us laugh all right we like comedy so if we're laughing it's good if it's uh if it's funny it's good if it's uh if it's somewhat just just make it entertaining let me just put it that way all right i, mean, I don't say too much about that entertaining that's just basically it all right understand that as I always say, people do not come to Instagram to buy things. People do not come to Instagram to learn things. People come to Instagram to be entertained. 
right? They're just looking for amiable, right? But while looking for amiable, what happens? They can learn. They can buy things. Do you understand? So you have to find a way to make your content connect with what they are already looking for or what they are already there for. They are already there for entertainment. So find a way to make your content be entertaining, right? And understand this. Every post online, right from your blog post, or your LinkedIn post, your social media post, Instagram post, Facebook post, every post has a basic thing to make it work. One, the hook. All right. The hook is how you create your heading, right? Or how you create the, uh, how will I call it? Maybe your headline, right? So it becomes very attractive and it hooks me enough. I want to stay to watch what is going to happen next, right? Then the body, the body is where you give us the meat of the information, right? Then the end where you conclude, maybe tell us to click one link or tell us to watch more or tell us to subscribe or all that crap that you guys want to do, right? Whatever you want to do, you tell us, you know, at the end. Do you understand? So, but this is how it works. So the hook, it stops us. We're scrolling before the minute we see that hook, we're like, ooh, what you talking about here? Let me see. So that can come from your heading, that can come from the cover page of your reel. So every video you post, you can create a cover page and upload so some of you create videos and after creating those videos when you post it you notice that it is black so we're just coming to the page and we're just seeing that black thing at the background you can actually remove that with the cover you know cover page right create a cover page with a different title that is attractive and will stop us in our tracks okay then show us the body of the video yeah we see we learn we we're entertained okay before you close Okay, remember, you have to be entertaining. You have to be inspiring. You have to be motivating. You have to show us something that we would really love to see. If not, we'll skip it. And the more we skip, Instagram will realize we hate the video. And if we hate the video, algorithm will hate you too. So even if you are creating reels that we hate, algorithm will hate you because you are not doing stuff that we love. All right? Algorithm is favoring us. It wants to push things that we love. So whatever you can do, right, to help you deal, right, to help you connect with us, the audience, to help you uh, uh, touch our senses emotionally, right, that would make us want to continue, would make us want to watch that. That is what the algorithm will love. So that's what you should be doing. All right. Okay. Let me just give you a little brief of how algorithm works. You post. Algorithm takes that your post and shows it to some people. And this it sees how they respond to it. Right? If those people do not respond nicely, right? It takes it again and shows to another set. Right? To see how they respond to it. If those ones don't also respond nicely, algorithm can just abandon your post and leave it there. So some people probably just scroll through your trend line and maybe see the post and say, okay, maybe they like it or they don't like it. Right? But when your post is shown to people, if it doesn't connect with them as soon as it is shown, if they don't do anything on the post, if there's no engagement, no like, no comment, no none of that, they didn't watch it, if they didn't sit, take, you know, sit down and actually consume that content, right? If they didn't spend time on that content or on that page, right? The algorithm will not be happy, all right? So that's how the algorithm works because it wants to keep people on the page. So whatever you are creating, the same thing with YouTube videos, Facebook videos, whatever you are creating, just think, the platform wants to keep people on the page. So whatever you can do, whatever you need to do to keep people on the page, that is what they want. Do you understand? That's what they want. So inspiring, motivating, entertaining, that's what they want. That's what will keep people on the page. Never heard before. It's something new. Ooh, I've never heard of this before. Fine. They would like it. They'll be on that page. They'll watch it two or three times. Yes. Okay. New information. Ooh, I've not seen this before. Yes, they'll be on your page. Fine. Right? But it has to connect in a way first that they would like to watch so that they will not find out that all of this is interesting info that you are sharing. Do you understand? Good. Now, another point is you need to be using the creative tools for reels. There are some creative tools. You know, there are some texts. There are some funny, funny things you can do. Different effects, you know, that they have there. Different text um, ways that they can share all those things. Different text arrangements. Um, there are even... Um, captions all of that so test 
all the things just look to your left when you're doing your reels look to your left there are several things there that you can actually test okay so learn to use all those effects okay you try this one see how it looks you don't like it try the next one see how it looks you might like it all right so when you keep trying like that you keep you know creating different forms of that particular thing that you're creating all right so it could come out in a different way the way you like or the way your audience will like do you understand so if you're creating you're thinking about okay what would my audience like right so how would they be what what kind of style right? what kind of effect do i think they would like so you test it just to see how it works so you can do one you know one particular effect do another one another particular effect and compare it hmm. compare it so that you see how it works all right so learn to use all of this right now another beautiful thing that i think most people don't do is people use music but sometimes you guys just use music that you see all right sometimes instagram can suggest different types of music sometimes for some accounts you see nigerian music for some other accounts you see foreign music good now you can actually save music if you are maybe watching one of those reels that you like you can save the audio and use the audio in your video all right so you're watching a video that you like all right the person is using one song that is cool let's say a nigerian song you know fantastic nigerian song all right or a trending top 10 song top 10 hits you know on the music charts music billboards all right that song is fantastic it's trending you now pick that song all right and you use it the beauty of that is because it's a trending song people will probably be listening to that song so people want to listen to it all right so trending songs when you create or rather when you create a video with a particular song most times it goes under the there's a creation panel for all this you know all the reels that have used a particular song right so if it's a trending song if it's a um uh, a song that people are searching for people are listening to what you would have is your song goes there sorry your reel goes there right in that saved place and because people are searching for that song maybe to save it or to watch it or whatever right they get to see your performance right i get what i'm saying now look at it look at, let me let me repeat that a trending song you use the trending song on your reel right that trending song saves your reel or rather instagram saves your reel to a you know like a, like a library all right of different songs all right a library of different reels attached to that song or that use that song do you get what i'm saying instagram saves your reel to a library of different reels that use that same song so people can actually go there see the song and go down and watch all the videos appearing there. so it's like a hashtag kind of thing right so when you use hashtag and everybody that used that hashtag appears under that hashtag it's the same thing so you use that song everybody that appear that use that song appears under it do you get what i'm saying so if you use a trending song the song is already attracting its own audience it would also help you all right so another thing you could do is remixing instagram allows you to remix now somebody can post a video and stop you from remixing the video or rather post a reel and stop you from remixing the reel right so for those that did not stop you from remixing the reel it means you can remix trending reels so we've talked about using trending videos you can also remix trending reels all right so this reel is trendy let's remix it all right and you do your own part of it and the trending video is on one side and your own video is on the other side do you understand so just little little things like this are things that can help you get more visibility with your reels now do not forget to check what your insights are saying from your insights you can tell which of these videos are performing which of these videos do my you know do the audience like um which which uh, which type of video at maybe what type of sound or is connecting to them what type of sound is working all right what type of style or effect is working or connecting with the audience do you understand so you can check out all of this see what the insights telling you because you have 
general insights for your account, then you now have Reels Insights, all right? So check out your Reels Insights, learn from it, create more of what's working, all right? And finally, finally, this one is the most important thing. Learn to test, because you don't know, all right? You don't know what will work. You just post it and tomorrow is blowing up. Oh, <gasps> Learn to test, okay? Test different things, test different sounds, check out different Nigerian songs, check out trending Nigerian songs, check out trending international songs. Anything that is trending would definitely help your brand. So learn to test, okay? And let's see how that works. So try this out and let us see how it works for you. That's what I share with my clients and I'm sharing with you free of charge. They pay me to do it and I've told them and I'm sharing with you free of charge, okay? So what you can do for me is please click the like button. <laughs> Subscribe to this channel so that next time I post a video, you can see it, please. All right. Invite your friends to join me again next week and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for being here. Remember, my name is Victor Anyao and they call me the Social Media Oracle. You can follow me across all social media platforms at the Oracle VA, at T-H-E-O-R-A-C-L-E. -E. All right? Till I come your way again next week, remember, strategies win battles, not weapons. <laughs>